Hello everybody, this is day four of the uh, create a video in two hours challenge. So once again, film, edit, upload in two hours. So today I'm going to show you actually a few things combined and one of them is how you can change your normal view uh, like this this Google page for instance. If I wanted to change it to uh, inverted colors, you can do that through Google's high contrast extension made by Google. Okay. And um, I already have it installed. I can turn on my my high, go to the high contrast extension, and I'm going to do inverted grayscale. The reason why is if I just do inverted, it kind of has a crazy look with the Google sign because it inverts all of the colors. Okay, so what I'm going to do is once again inverted grayscale books.google.com. Now in here, this is going to search uh, specifically for books. It's going to narrow down Google searches just so it's looking for books. So I'm going to look up, uh, let's do something like grammar, just a grammar book. And you see all of the, the initial hits are the recommended versions or the most popular versions. But let's take a look at the free versions. And these, of course, are going to be are older books. In fact, as soon as I type in um, full view, you see that I changed to any view, preview and full view, and I selected full view. Now, if I look at any of these, we have book 1851, published in 1851, published in 1904, 1779. Well, I want, I'm going to narrow it down a little bit more, and I'm going to look up advanced grammar, advanced grammar. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, so you can see that because we have the extension on, it is uh, now showing it in inverted colors. And you can read it this way. That's that's perfectly fine. If you wanted to change these colors at all, then what we're going to do is um, I'm, I'm going to show you the very um, the steps to change uh, the colors for one page. And of course, you could do it for multiple pages. We're going to use GIMP for that. So first of all, what I need to do is close the preview here and reload the page there we go and now i'm going to download the pdf and i have to enter uh, the captcha see if that was correct and it is so i'm going to download the page an advanced english grammar and yeah we'll put it in let's create a new folder and we'll call it books We'll save it in books. Okay, so now that we are in GIMP, I have, as you see, I have an advanced English grammar and it's ready to go ahead and open. So I click on it and that was through the open dialogue. So let's see what, there we go. Come on now, close that out. Okay, so it's gonna ask me which page do I want to open. So I'm gonna show you just the the first, let's go with the uh, the title page, okay? And you see that our initial resolution, we want to bump that up. The initial resolution is 100 pixels per inch. Um, I found that anything over 700 is generally pretty good. So type in 700 pixels. So page six at 700 pixels, and we're going to import it. Okay, what do I have to do in order to invert the colors? Well, there are, there are two steps. First of all, we need to create a custom palette. I'm going to add a tab. I go over here to the right hand side, add a tab, and I go down to palettes. And there we go, right there. Okay, and then I need to add a palette, and that is this box right here, create a new palette. And I'm going to call it my two colors. Okay, and then to add the colors, we're actually going to go over to mycanva.com and select two custom colors, high contrast colors. And now I can choose my colors. Once again, I like working with my uh, default blue. Okay, so this is going to be my base color. And uh, let's see here. They're right, right about there. Should be, should be pretty good. Heading more towards the teal. And then what I do is I drop the saturation or I drop the luminance and I get it almost to black. Once I copy that color, I then head over to GIMP. And what I need to do is select the left hand uh, or the um, foreground color. And I paste the 
color in as the HTML. So I go I go back to my my two colors, and then I uh, click on this little configure this tab, and I go to pa palette editor menu, and I go and I uh, go down the menu to new color from foreground. I have now added that deeper blue uh, that, that that deeper shade of blue. So now let's go back and let's get the whitish color, the high contrast white. For that, I. Uh, click on the complementary color and all I need to do is I need to play around with the saturation and luminance values until I get a value that I like. So I go more towards the yellow, all right, about there, a nice shade of yellow and I drop the saturation, increase the luminance until I get an off-white but with still just a hint of yellow. So I decrease the luminance, increase the saturation, about that level. This is subjective. I'm sure there's a way you could figure it out, but uh, that's just uh, a, a contrast that I like. Not too much saturation, but just enough to keep it from being totally grayscale. Okay, so we'll go with that. We'll go with that hex value, and I go back over to um, uh, GIMP, and I clicked on the background color, and I paste my new my new color there and we'll see if this works or not if this color uh, scheme works you can always change it so once again i go over to the palettes editor and i click on the configure this tab and i go down the menu to actually the very first hit on the uh, uh, menu is palette editor menu and then once again i add a color to the palette from background color so now i have two colors in my in my two colors we now need to uh, convert this image uh, from a, a grayscale as you can see if I zoom in down to the pixel level you see not only do we have black and white but we have uh, shades of gray as well darker shade and then uh, fading out to white to kind of give the illusion of um, uh, not of depth but it just, it helps to soften the color. Well, in order to invert the colors properly, we need to get rid of that gradient, okay? So to do that, we go up to uh, image and we go to color, um, what is it, uh, mode. We go to mode, we go to indexed. Once we have indexed selected, we then need to use a custom palette. Click on the palette menu and we go up to my two colors. Now. And when I convert this, there we go. All of the colors within this image have been converted to the nearest equivalent to those two colors. So if I zoom in, you see I get, when I get down to the pixel level, it has all been converted to this bluish, this uh, bluish black color. As you see, there is no gradient now. Once I have that, then I go over to colors and I invert the colors. And there you see, now I have a custom inverted color scheme. What did I do? I created a custom palette. Once again, going over to the tab and opening up the palette, the palettes option. Once I had that option, in fact, we'll go through, go through this whole. So if, let's see if I uh, delete this entry. I don't want to delete the entry, but I can close. I can close the tab. And then I can close this tab, okay? Close tab. Okay, so once again, you go up to Add Tab. Go scroll down to Palettes. Once you're in Palettes, you can either uh, edit, um, edit an existing palette or you can add your own, in which case, if you want to add your own, then you go down to this second uh, option uh, uh, at the bottom of the Palettes um, dock and you create a new palette. Once you've created a new, uh, a new palette, you then go back up to this cor this uh, right-hand corner and you go to Palette Editor Menu. You then add colors from the foreground or from the background. So now what you do is you then go over to Image, go to Mode, and click on Indexed. So it'll be either RGB or grayscale. Uh, P PDFs are usually grayscale uh, if they're a text like this. Once you have that, you go to indexed, set the index to match your particular palette. Once you've done that, you then go to colors and you invert the picture.
once you have this image, you then export as a PDF. So an advanced English grammar, zero, zero, one. So this would be the very first, and we'll do zero, zero, one, and this would be page one. Okay, and convert bitmaps to vector uh, graphics where possible, apply layer, yes, export. An advanced English grammar, and then we look at the PDF. So this is the that's the PDF. And you see zoomed in, this is what now 200% or something like that. And you see it's uh, perfectly legible at 700 pixels. And the color has been inverted. So you would do this for all of the pages and you can immediately see how uh, being able to um, uh, write a script that works with GIMP, uh, you'd be able to open up multiple pages and perform that same operation on entire books and create a custom inverted PDF version of any document. Thank you very much for watching. This has been day four of uh, uh, create a video in under two hours. Thanks for watching.